Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for March 17th, 2024. The character at the defect and the mod fire star heirloom started with one rare relic. Green cards, green card champion rewards and shops, and deadly events, question mark, room, question mark rooms cannot contain elites, but also more likely to contain treasure rooms. I see Ante here with 1407, Steven with 1327, not far behind. Mike with 1281. Oh, that is interesting. So Ante got a really good score compared to Steven and others, right? All right, let, yeah, let's just get started and see how, how well I can do. I uh, did surprisingly well yesterday. A lot of people had a lot of trouble yesterday. Uh, first, we start off with the Heirloom Relic Emotion Chip. If you lost HP during the previous turn, trigger the passive ability of all orbs at the start of your current turn. Now, it's probably not going to be that useful because I'm going to try to avoid losing HP at all. Uh, there's a three lead path on the left with one, two, three, four question mark rooms. There's a two lead path. Oh, no, actually, I can turn right after this point as well, right? That will give me also four question mark rooms total. Interesting. So the path left and right is the same. It's just a matter of when to hit the lead. All right, let's 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 get there first and then decide. Also choose to take the earlier question mark room. Or should I, should I take the later question mark room? Yeah, with deadly events. Because I think the early ones are guaranteed not to give you a lead. So let's try to take the later one. Right, so here I can kill this one and then do zap. Good. And then any strike. Oh no, I'm, I'll be weakened. So strike alone is not enough. I have to play three strikes. Hmm. Right. Claw, blur, or sneaky strike. I'm not a fan of claw, so let's skip that. Instead, I'll, I'll take the blur. Okay. Uh, I misclicked. Yeah, I was supposed to go to the other path. It's fine. I hope it will make a big difference. We also got Sandal. Every three times you shuffle, drop out, gain two extra energy. So hopefully that will help me get it like shiny. That one extra relic. Although, if I, if I was going to fight an elite, I, would, I was going to get an extra relic anyway. All right, let's triple defend here. Who's my final boss, by the way? Hexagos. Okay, so I do want to lose HP, which means I probably want to go on the right to have a regular fight before the um, before the boss. Mm -hmm. All right, 12. Let's do dual cast here. Yep, kill this one and then do defend. Mm -hmm. All right, and here I'm not being attacked. Uh, let's do strike, strike, blur. Oh, save me some block next turn in case I get attacked. I am not. All right. And then this is enough to kill. Good. Okay. Stack cool headed or beam cell. I mean, I love frost orbs, so I kind of want to take cool headed. Yeah, let's do it. Doesn't really fit this deck, but hopefully it'll help. All right. Jawworm. Not the best start. I'll try to defend as much as I can here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do have to lose HP for the, um, for the Hexagos fight anyway, so it's okay if I take a little bit of damage. And then 16, can I do that? Uh, I have 15, so not quite enough. Um, unless, let's see what the cool headed gives me. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. All right, let's do this this way. I'll have four block next turn. And I should be able to do something like zap and dual cast. Beautiful. All right, we've got a weakness potion, acrobatics, well eight plants are overclock. Well eight, uh, acro well, actually all of these are good. Well eight plants might be the key to something amazing though. Let's take it. Mm-hmm. I don't have any AoE damage, right? That might be a problem. Let's do two strikes. And then I guess I'll do defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going to take some damage here. But I guess, again, that's fine because I do have the Hexagos at the end, right? Here, I'll do dual cast. All right, awesome. That killed one of them. Unfortunately, the strike alone is not enough to kill the other. Let's do well it plants and then I'll do a defend. Safety zap. Mm -hmm. All right. And then another 8. Here I have extra energy. I can fully defend, strike, and zap. Okay. Oh, I should have kept the defend. It's fine. Hopefully it won't matter. Hmm. And then here I can do strike, then dual cast, hoping... Yeah, it will kill this one. Another strike. Beautiful. All right, got an energy potion, quick slash, sneaky strike, or blizzard. I don't have any discard, so definitely not the sneaky strike, even though it's the second one offered. Let's take the quick slash. Also don't have a frost orb, so the blizzard to be useful. So let's try to get some orbs here. I'll do cool headed and wait for the zap. And the well plants. That's something I want to keep as well. Yeah, there's the well plants. Should I keep the dual cast? Yeah, let's keep the dual cast. Although perfecting this one is going to be a challenge. I do have a weakness potion, which I might be willing to use. Yeah, here let's do zap, dual cast, quick slash. And um, yeah, I guess I'll keep the blur. Let's see. I mean, I don't want to waste a potion if there's no chance of me perfecting, right? So, although no, looks like I might be able to if I drink, if I throw the weakness potion and then do blur, defend, and cool headed, that will give me enough block. And unfortunately, next turn, it might be trouble. I'll have five, ten, so I need one other defensive card. All right, don't need the blur here. Um, yeah, I need, I need, 
uh, one other defensive guard, but I need to play two of them. Yeah, okay, so it might be difficult to deal another 79 damage in a short period of time. Uh, let's do cool headed and dual cast and strike. Keep the zap. Yeah, I don't think I can perfect this one, so basically I have to make sure I can actually deal enough damage on time. Uh, so here, let me see what this gives me. Dual cast actually gives me 10, 12 lock. I can fully defend here with two defense and then play a zap. All right. I still have an energy potion, although that one I'm really hesitant to use just because, um, yeah, even if I actually hang on 12. No, yeah, even if I play all of the defensive cards, I only have uh, 16, not 18 block, right? So, yeah, let's let's try to deal damage instead. Come. Okay. Yeah, I might have I might have been a little too overly confident in perfect this one, so maybe using that potion was not really not really wise. So let's do two strikes and then let's do blur, sure, and I'll keep the dual cast as soon as I can get the uh, lightning orb up front. I should be able to kill with it. Um, let's do cool headed dual cast and then a strike. Yep. All right, no way to perfect this one. I think about happy fire every three turns get extra energy. Prepared slice or leap? Slice is fine. Leap might be interesting. Let's take the leap just because I do have to defend against the upcoming boss. I don't think I'll take a shop just yet. I don't think I have enough gold. Let's just do a regular fight. Here I can do well I plans, leap and defend and save the strike for later. Mm -hmm. That well I plans would be great to have upgraded soon too. Let's do quick slash, cool headed and defend again to avoid any, well, to avoid too much damage. And this turn I have energy. I'm not being attacked though. Let's do dual cast, zap. Um, should I do... Let's do one strike. No, actually two strikes are enough to kill. Good. Alright, uh, go for the S for shuts or flying knee. Flying knee is a solid attack card. Mm -hmm. And then here I got the Grumman knob. Let's play both attacks and wait. Alright. Yeah, this one is going to be a challenge to perfect too, right? Let's see what the cool headed gives me. Yeah, I mean I could fully depend with the leap. But then I have given the enemy four extra strength and not really closer to being able to kill. Sort of the opposite. Let's do quick slash. At least I have extra energy, but what will I do with it? Uh, let's do a regular strike and then defend and blur. Should I do zap? That's a little too risky. Let's not do zap. Okay. Mm hmm. I have another 33 incoming. I do have dual cast. That should help. And then two strikes. Wow, that's actually not enough. I also have to drink the energy potion to, play, to be able to play the zap. Wow, all right. I had to drink the potion just to survive here. We got Vajra, so I should come with one strength. Prepared Sucker Punch or Machine Learning. Let's take the Sucker Punch for the upcoming boss. And then, yeah, I'll, I think I'll go on the right just to make sure I have a regular fight before the boss, although I'm already pretty low on HP. We got Stone Calendar at the end of turn 7, deal 52 damage to all enemies. That's not bad. And then I might actually consider healing here. I don't think I need to remove anything. Let's heal. Yeah, because I'm a little worried about my HP at the moment. Well, not now. I was before. 12 incoming. Let's uh, shred. You know what? Let's just triple defend. Yeah, no need to lose more HP here. Mm -hmm. Alright, another 12. I can do leap that that is enough. Then dual cast and a strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's do flying me, strike, sucker punch, and then I should be able to kill the backliner with any attack. Mm -hmm. All right. No damage taken here. Sucker punch, leg sweep, bullseye. Let's take leg sweep, another great source of weakness. All right. Sentries this is a question mark room elite fight, right? So let's do cool headed. Leap. I have to do leap. Then well it plants. And then let's do sucker punch you. Okay. Uh, keep a strike. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, it's going to be a challenge to perfect this one. I have 18 incoming here. I only have 17 block, even if I play all my defensive cards. So, yeah, I guess I'll do flying knee. Then two defense. Yeah, because I can't already cannot perfect. <coughs> Yeah, because I already cannot perfect, so might as well, you know, get at least one attack out. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here Lex Whip is great. Uh, actually, let me do Lex Whip and Blur. And then I can also do something like Defend. That way I should be... Uh, well, that way it should be easy for me to fully defend next turn as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, actually I am fully defending next turn. Good. So here let's do Dual Cast, uh, Quick Slash, Lex Sweep. Alright. And then keep the defend here. Okay. 
All right, with a few more frost drops, I should be fine, but ideally I would kill at least one of the sentries, right? Yeah, let's do blur, cool headed, should have done cool headed first. And then here I'll do zap because I am fully defended, keep the defend for later. Hmm. Although I guess I could have played the, no, no, no I, think, I think this is fine. Playing the defend and saving it for the, ooh, I, if I get lucky, no. I was hoping that the orb will hit the back line, in which case I would have avoided taking one damage, but that's fine. Only one HP lost, that's okay. And then here, let's do Strike, a Sucker Punch, Flying Knee, and Defend. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that, Stone Calendar helping me out. At Potion Belt, haven't seen a single potion yet, right? Which is disappointing. I think Genetic Algorithm would be great. Let's take it and try to use it as much as I can. Like a Vulin. Here, I probably want to use Genetic Algorithm just because it's not going to be very useful. Uh, let's keep the Blur, play it next turn. Mm -hmm. No, actually, no, I want to play, play it on turn 3. Actually, Leg Sweep is pretty good. Uh, let's do Zap and then Leg Sweep. Okay, and then keep the Blur here. And then I probably... Well, let's see what I get offered. All right, well, there's Sucker Punch. That's useful. Sucker Punch, Flying Knee. Let's do Blur and Strike and keep a Defend for next turn. So this way the enemy is weakened on turn... Uh, well, this turn. And I can do... I have extra energy. So let's do Quick Slash, Cool Headed. Leap. I have seven. Yeah, Leap is enough. Then do dual cast and two strikes. Unfortunately, next turn the enemy is not weakened anymore. Mm -hmm. 18. I do have Lex Weave though, that's great. All right, that way I'm actually fully defended. I don't need the blur here, so let's do just zap. Keep the strike. All right. Mm -hmm. And then here, next turn, ideal. I, I have enough to kill. Yeah. Finally perfected something. Actually, well, hang on. It's not over yet, but yeah, next turn, either the orbs or the stone calendar will kill. Beautiful. Perfect this one, very happy with that. We, we got question card, future card awards, and one additional card to choose from. A skill potion, double energy, force field, or calculate gamble. Not a huge fan of anything. Maybe calculate gamble is okay. Double energy is nice too, but I think calculate gamble is better. I already have a little HP, so I don't think I need to drop down even further. So let me try to see if I can get by without losing my without losing more HP. We got let's sweep, leg sweep here and then well eight plans keep to keep a strike. All right, and then here, it's a lot of incoming. Uh, I can't kill the back there, can I? Uh, actually, no, I can if I do flying knee and strike, all right? And then let's just do uh, blur and leap, sure. And then keep a strike for next turn, because I think, well, the strike will be enough to kill the backliner. Mm -hmm. And then I'm almost fully defended. There's genetic Goggle, which I definitely want to play. Dual cast and a strike to kill, good, all right. Get a Swift Potion, Quick Slash Prepared, Ball Lightning, or Caltrops. Ball Lightning seems like a solid attack card. Let's take that. And then here, I'll probably want to upgrade that while it plants. Mm -hmm. Maybe Genetic Algorithm Upgrade won't be a bad idea either. So I might consider that uh, in the future. Here, I still think it's not powerful enough. So I think I'll just play it. Then Ball Lightning and Flying Knee and Wait. Next turn, I do have extra energy thanks to the Happy Flower, which is nice. Uh, leg Sweep is perfect here. Let's do Leg Sweep, Ball Light Plants, Strike, and Dual Cast. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, another four. Uh, Sucker Punch for another turn of weakness seems like a good idea. Let's also do Quick Slash to see what I get, and then just play Defend. And I'm just to be safe, gonna hang on to two Defense. Mm -hmm. Another six. Uh, yeah, let's do Blur and Leap and Strike. Okay. That way I'm also not worried about the next turn. Yep, here I'm fully defended. Good, I have the energy. Let's do Quick Slash. Um, I could do Leg Sweep, but no, I think I'd rather save it for later. So let's keep these two. Mm -hmm. Alright, not being attacked here. Let's do Dual Cast, Sucker Punch, Strike. And I don't think I'll do cal Calculate Gamble. So let's just keep these two in my hand. Okay. At the end of next turn, I also deal 70, 52 damage thanks to Stone Calendar. But um, hang on here. Yeah, I'm happy I got the Leg Sweep. So I need 12, I only, I have 13, so that's fine. I could do Blur. No, let's do Flying Knee instead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still need to deal 50, 65 damage, that is quite a bit. All right, I do have the energy. Let's do Ball Lightning, Cool Headed. Then Strike. Could also just try to defend as much as I can with the Blur, right? Let's do Blur, Defend, Defend. And then Zap. And just really hope for the best. Okay. I don't think I can deal f uh, 44 damage next turn, so I sort of have to try to defend. I have 18, I need 24. 
Leg sweep is enough. Beautiful. Okay. Alright. So far so good. If only I had thorns, the enemy probably would have been dead by now, right? With all the multi-hit attacks. Okay. Six incoming. Let's do Sucker Punch, which is nice. Then, um, I think I have to play the Leap, right? Let's do that. And then this is ten. Yeah, I'm fully defended. Might as well do a defend for good measure. Mm -hmm. I just need very little. The orbs are almost enough. Just need a little bit of my own. Here, dual cast does it. Beautiful. All right, nail biter. But I was able to perfect this one. We got another skill potion, grand finale, storm of steel, electrodynamics, or creative AI. Not a huge fan. I haven't picked up any rare cards yet, so I'm not sure if I should try to go pop for Popper. This is not going to be easy without rare cards, but I think I'll risk it. The last few days I've been going for Popper. So without Popper, or without, yeah, yeah, let's let's skip this one. I was trying to think if I had to take them, which one I would take, but no, I think I can safely skip. Yesterday in Pandora's box was really horrible. I didn't notice it at the time, but in retrospect, it gave me a really bad set of cards and no collector bonuses, so that I was able to get collector bonuses later. Fusion Hammer is a little dangerous, but uh, yeah, I would like, actually, yeah, I would like the Generic Algorithm to get upgraded. But I think it's the best of these three, so let's take it. Gain energy at the start of your turn, you can no longer smith the rest sets. I do think I need more energy. Ideally, I would also get more card draw, but yeah, let's start with more energy first. Mm -hmm. Right, two lead paths only on the left. Okay, right side only has one lead path, so if I go on the left, I'll get one, two, three... And then after this point, going on the left again will give me a fourth question mark room and a shop, which, uh, yeah, the shop might be useful, but this does mean it's going to be unlikely that I get the Alex Shiny modifier. Uh, not the Alex Shiny, the um, Mr. Mystery modifier. All right, here, let's do Drink Ogden, Blur, Quick Slash, um, and Strike. Mm -hmm. Blur is pretty nice. All right. Okay, 20 incoming. I could do Leg Sweep, bring it down to 15 and be fully defended that way. Let's also do another Zap. And yeah, might as well keep both of these. Do wonder if all the plants will make the run take longer because I have to click on cards at the end of every turn. All right, here, let's weaken the backliner, then get this one to the ground, and then I think I'll accept the uh, 10 damage. Uh, well, 5 damage to be more exact. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I think that's totally fine. 5 damage, I'll take that. All right. Another 10. Uh, let's do dual cast, ball lightning, uh, strike, and then double defend. Okay. Oh, that's not actually enough because this one is attacking me by four. All right. Losing more HP than I thought I would here. Takes me a while for the orbs to become useful. And then here I can kill you with a strike, then do zap, and then play a bunch of other stuff. That's not going to matter because the orbs uh, should be enough to kill next turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Catalyst, Beam Cell, Deflect, or Sweeping Beam. Sweeping Beam is the card draw that I'm looking for. Let's take it. And then here I got the Looter and the Mugger. Starting off with the Genetic Ogulum is nice. And Leap and Defend. Okay, that was actually a pretty good start. Didn't have to take any damage here. Another 20. Here, let's do Leg Sweep, Sweeping Beam. Okay. Then, um, just to be safe, I'll play another Deflect. <laughs> or a Defend, I mean. Okay. And now the Backliner is not escaping, but the Frontliner is trying to. I should desperately try to kill because I do want to save my gold if I can. Mm -hmm. If the orbs hit this one, which means I have to deal 8 damage this turn. Uh, luckily, yes, I have the... Uh, here, let's do Sucker Punch, then Ball Lightning Flying Knee. And then while it plants, and the orbs are enough to kill. Beautiful. Alright, Stag to try Dagger Throw, Recursion, or Footwork. Footwork might be interesting, but I think I'll take the Dagger Throw. And then here's Centurion and Mystic. Can I stall to get overkill and combo? Not really, right? Yeah, fine. Let's not do that. Then instead I'll do Sweeping Beam. Uh, Sucker Punch. Um, cool Headed. So really hoping for a defensive card. Didn't get that. Fine. Mm -hmm. Another 14. Uh, yeah, I can just do Blur Defend to be fully defended. And then Quick Slash, Zap, and should I do Defend again because I have Blur Active? No, I think I'll do another uh, another Strike. Mm -hmm. Alright, no one is attacking, that's good. Uh, let's do Dagger Throw, and then Flying Knee, and while well, it plants, and I think I'll save the Genetic Algorithm for a turn where I actually need to play it. Mm -hmm. so it's 11 block at the moment, so that's it's only going to get better from here. Uh, let's do Leg Sweep, I need 10. Um, I have uh, 13. No, sorry. I mean, I need 20. I have 13. Yeah, I think let's do Genetic Ogulum here, then two strikes. Mm -hmm. 
and then hopefully that will be enough to kill the centurion next turn i just need 10 extra damage um yes i can do quick slash and sweeping beam okay and then let's also do blur leap and sucker punch mm -hmm. and let's keep these two because i'm pretty sure i'm close to being able to kill mm -hmm. another 10 let's do flying knee strike ball lightning and then a zap is 8 plus 9 is 17 that is enough right yeah good okay all right, got an energy potion here, leap all lightning claw or hologram. I already have these two, don't want the claw, so I guess it has to be hologram. All right, and then go for this question mark room here. Ooh, an elite fight, okay. All right, sorry about that, it's uh, been a while. All right, so this is a question mark room elite. Um, all right, let's see, so eight incoming. Do I have a hope of perfecting? Not if I can't kill any of the minions, even though I will have extra energy next turn. I'm gonna use my potions. I still have another elite coming up soon, another one later on. Let me start with quick slash, see what that gives me. Hmm. Yeah, I would love to play Lex Sweep. Let's just do a regular strike here. And then Lex Sweep this one, just in case I get attacked next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am luckily not being attacked. That's great. Alright, can I kill this one? Let's do sweeping beam, dagger throw. Um, blur might be good. Yeah, let me get her of the um, strike kill with the flying knee and then do blur and welly plants. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep the hologram, of course. All right. And then Rockley, again, not being attacked, which is good because I was not going to be. Oh, the Garma leader was not going to be weakened anymore. Let's do ball lightning, strike. And unfortunately, actually, I can do strike and a hologram, another ball lightning. Okay, so far I've only been dealing damage to minions, but let's hope let's hope I'll be able to deal damage to the Grim Leader soon. Again, not being attacked. Great. Let's do dual cast, and unfortunately this was a pretty bad hand, so let's save the defensive cards. Mm -hmm. Still not being attacked. Okay, my luck continues. Uh, let's do Sucker Punch. Um, yeah, Sucker Punch Strike kills this one. Okay. Then do Cool Headed. I got throw is not enough. Um... Yeah, well, let's still do Dagger Throw. And then I'll do Leap and save these two for next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still not being attacked. All right. Getting super lucky. Flying Knee, Strike, Strike, another Strike. And again, keep these two for next turn. Enemy already has nine extra strength. Okay. I mean, I keep getting, uh, getting lucky here. I think I'll hologram the Sweeping... Wasn't there a Sweeping Beam somewhere? I, wow, I could have sworn I played a sweeping beam, which I clearly didn't. I'm confused. Okay, I guess I don't have an AoE damage card. Um, Let me do dagger throw then. Wait, I reshuffled. Okay, sweeping is coming up. All right, for a second I was scared there. Um, Yeah, let's do, should I do generic algorithm, hologram something? Sweeping, I'm putting a lot of stake on that, but I do have some good cards coming up. All right, let's do calculate gamble. All right, gain extra energy that way. Good. And I got my generic algorithm back, which is great. Let's do sweeping beam first. Then dual cast. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do quick slash. Ball lightning, sucker punch, strike, and save these two. Oh, look at that. Stone calendar killing the uh, Grim Leader. That's kind of funny. We've got incense spinner in every six turns. Gain one intangible. As well as a gambler's brew. And not sure about massive stab. It's not bad. But as soon as I take starting damage, it'll become worse. But let's take it. I like it more than the other cards that were offered. Maybe a recursion, but no, I think this is better. All right, here, let's do massive stab. Quick slash, flying knee. Well, eight plants, and might as well, I have the energy play the defensive cards. Mm -hmm. All right, 15. Um, wow. Okay, let's just do defend and strike. But a little unlucky with the randomization. I also don't want to hang on to any of those. Mm -hmm. Another eight. Yeah, let's do generic algorithm here. Okay. Then zap and ball lightning. Mm -hmm. All right. I might hologram the dual cast back if I really want to. Um, let me start with sweeping beam first. Again, a little unlucky with the randomization. Okay, zero cost leg sweep, that's great. And then let's do strike, sucker punch, and wait. Actually, again, I won't keep any of these. They're too expensive. Mm -hmm. And I just need 15 damage, dagger throw, sucker punch, and then the orbs are enough to kill, but let's speed that up this way. Good. All right, here I got an energy potion, which I don't think I need. I'm happy with the potions I have, um, and I already have these two. Did I have a slice? No, so I could take a slice or a steam beer. Steam beer might be a little better. 
Alright, next elite. Book of Stabbing. I am intangible in this turn. That's nice. Let's well it plans defense, strike, and save the Lex for next turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, 18. That's generic Algolim. That's not bad, but alone won't be enough. Let's do quick slash ball lightning. Then generic Algolim sucker punch. That way it will be enough. And then, uh, yeah, might as well play this. Save these two. Mm -hmm. Lex is going to be great. Uh, the extra turns of weakness will be very useful. Yeah, here I think I have to play like sweep. Let's also do blur. Just barely dealing any damage, right? Anything I need to hologram? You know what? Let me hologram the steam barrier. Because next turn I'll have 24 incoming. Oh, no, with weakness it'll be 16. Let's save the attacks. I think the 16 should almost be enough. Mm -hmm. All right, so massful stab dagger throw. All right. And then cool headed alone is not enough. Let's get rid of the strike. Then do cool headed flying knee and defend. Okay. I'm a little worried, but I guess... Hang on, what's coming up next turn? Yeah, let's keep the Calculate Gamble. I might need that. Mm -hmm. No more weakness here. 30 incoming. Boy, I can deal enough damage though, right? Let's start it with Sweeping Beam. Leap, Blur, Steam Barrier. 1921. I mean, let's hope Calculate Gamble gives me a source of weakness. It didn't, but it did give me two defensive cards. That's barely enough. Okay. Still need 46 damage. Alright, another 21. I can hologram something. What should that be? Fuel cast is not enough to kill. Let's do quick slash. I really would like a source of weakness, but I don't have anything in my discard pile. What if I hologram the Master Stab? That's 12 plus 6 is 18 plus another 16. That's going to be 34. That is surprisingly close. Can I hologram something that deals more damage? What if I hologram the dual cast? It will cost me energy though. I can only play one thing, so that'll be 9 plus 16, 25 plus 3. That's, that's worse. I might have to just drink the, uh, well, one of my potions. What if I defend next round? I'll be intangible. If I bring back Leap, it's going to be 5, 6, 8, 17. Still not quite enough. Yeah, I think my hope, my best hope is to drink the energy potion. Hang on, let me hologram the Masterful Sab. And then do Flying Knee. I forgot about one extra strength, but I don't think that makes a difference. What if I do Zap? That'll be 8 plus 6, 14. Still one short, right? Yeah, one short. So, fine. Let's drink the energy potion and kill here. Alright. Perfect this one, too. I'm a little surprised how much I'm perfecting now. We got Singbo and adding cards into deck. You may raise your max tree by 2 instead. As well as a Cultist Potion. And already have the Sweeping Beam. Glacier might be a great defensive card. Let's take that. And then I think... Yeah, I don't think I need Rest Side, right? Yeah, let's avoid the Rest Side. Mm-hmm. All right, here, let's do Blur, Glacier, and Flying Knee. Should be plenty of block for next turn. Ah, I was wasting the intangibility, unfortunately. Here, I think... Too bad I don't have Wally Plants. I would love to keep and see, play the Genetic Ogulum. Um, I mean... Yeah, no, there's no reason to play it now. I'm afraid I... Yeah, see, great. I got the Wally Plants a little too late there. Let me see if I can reshuffle. I would love to play that Wally Plants again. Or the Genetic Ogulum. Or I can hologram it, right? I didn't have that played yet yes good all right so here let's do ball lightning dagger throw kills this one okay and then sucker punch to weaken this one quick slash and wait mm. taking some damage here okay uh, who's my final boss by the way uh, champ all right so there's no nothing that i need to put the instance murder at i mean it would be nice to have it at something but all right let's hologram the generic algorithm here mm -hmm. Right, that should be enough block, and then let's do a strike. This is what I mean, right? Once I take damage, the Mesto Stab becomes less useful. Let's save these two. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here, I got plenty of energy. Let's kill this one, then do Sweeping Beam. Strike, strike, and another strike with the orbs is enough. Good. Didn't end up taking too much damage here. Rip and Tear, Choke Ball, Lightning, Fusion. I do have a little bit of strength. I'm not sure if Rip and Tear is worth it. Sometimes I have a lot of energy thanks to my energy relics, so maybe choke is not a bad idea. It would be better if I had shift cards, so I do want to pick up shift cards. So let me take it and hope I get some good shift cards offered soon. Here, is there a way for me to get overkill in a different way? Not really, so I will risk taking the ritual dagger. Okay. Yeah, I got out of war. If you don't apply any attacks during your turn, get an additional energy next turn. Hmm. And then Cultist and Chosen. 10 incoming. Let's Sucker Punch it down to 6. And then just to avoid taking any damage, I think I'll do Calculate Gamble. Yeah, so I was hoping for a defensive card at least. Okay. Hmm. 
All right, intangible here. Too bad I can't. Wait, can I deal enough damage? There's 23. Can I hologram something? Um, not really hologram. The well, yeah, I would love to use the ritual dagger, but I don't think I can. Right. The best attack card I can gra grab with hologram is the quick slash or ball lightning. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is not enough. So maybe, maybe I will. Um, I will actually hang on to the ritual dagger because I really would like to use it. Mm -hmm. And I hope I won't regret it because I don't have a lot of um, HP to play around here with. Let's mess with that blur glacier. Mm -hmm. And then that should be enough. Uh, just to be safe, let's also defend this way because I have blur. Mm -hmm. Oof. At least seven incoming. At least I can kill this one. That's good. And then do flying knee, strike, strike. Ugh, not happy with how much HP I'm losing here. Do I have a rest set coming up? I do not. Okay, I have to be really careful. Let's do well laid plants and wait. No, I'll do sweeping beam. Okay, now I'll wait. Okay, the leg sweep might be good, the weakness. All right. 21. Okay, I can at least play generic algorithm, so that's nice. Then do strike and again save the leg sweep. Okay, now I just need to draw the ritual dagger, I think. Let's see if I can do that without taking too much damage. Um, let's do Sweeping Beam. And I I don't want to risk a strike. Yeah, so let's just... Oh, forgot about the, uh, the Stone Cam there. Fine, fine. An Essence of Steel Potion, which I'll take over the second Skill Potion. And then I definitely don't need Heat Sinks. Cold Snap might be good. Let's take the Cold Snap. Okay. All right, here. At least Waffle might be nice. I'm going to pick up Race from Extra by 7 heal all of your HP. The healing would be appreciated. Not a huge fan of any of the cards. Let's take the Elise Waffle. And then let's also take Pendant. Every 10th attack you play deals, deals double damage. And then in terms of cards, I already have these two. I'm not sure about Flechettes. I do have a good amount of skills, but I'm not sure if it's worth a Flechettes yet. Fine, let's take the Flechettes. Um, let's also take Prepared. It's not that useful if I don't have any other discard and draw synergies. Deep Breath might be better. Deep Breath would trigger the Sundial, right? Let's take it. It's a little on the expensive side, but it might be worth it. Okay. Here I got Tornithopto. I'm going to use a potion, heal 5 HP. That makes me feel a little better about my HP situation. Okay. All right. Incense Mirror. I'm tangible this turn, which unfortunately doesn't help me. I still need to play a defend. Um, yeah, I think the choke is not really enough, right? Uh, let's do... Hang on. So, can I kill the backline? If I do choke and then play two cards, that'll be uh, 19. That's not quite enough. So, um, I don't want to drink any of these potions. No, no, I think I would need more energy for the choke to be useful. So instead, let's do two strikes to kill you. And then flying knee and defend. Okay. All right, let's see if I get as lucky as I lost them. Nope. Being attacked immediately. That's unfortunate. All right. Um, let's do sweeping beam. Then quick slash. Okay. Yeah, nothing I can do here. I'll do wellied plants, a leap, a zap. And let's do dual cast. Wow, so really hoping... Okay, luckily, one of the orbs that hit the Gremlin, the, the Matt Gremlin... Still taking a bunch of damage here, but I think that's okay. Yeah, because I have Wally Plants, I think I'll keep the Ritual Dagger for when I'm actually ready to play it. Let's do Master Stab, Sucker Punch, Deep Breath. All right. And wait. Keep these two. Mm -hmm. And Backlash not attacking. That's good. Let's do Sweeping Beam. I think I'll just hologram the Sweeping Beam. All right. And then do double damage. Seems like a waste to spend it on the Mad Gremlin. Ritual Dagger is 32. Let's do Ball Lightning here and hope that one of the orbs will hit the Mad Gremlin. It did. Good. And then again, we'll keep these two. Hmm. Have to be careful not to accidentally kill with the Stone Calendar this time. I am being attacked, but I do have the Generic Algorithm as well as Glacier. Okay, 36. That's almost enough. Um, actually, I'm not that far from being able to kill here, right? Uh, yeah, still a little bit off, though. Mm -hmm. Should be able to kill next turn with the Ritual Dagger, though. All right. Um, yeah, here I can just do Ritual Dagger. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, got uh, got to use the Ritual Dagger. We got Tungsten Rod. One of you would lose HP, lose one less. Heal Hook, Core Search, Poison Stab, or Static Discharge. I definitely, well, I do have some weakness, but I'm not sure if it's enough. I'm not a huge fan of the rest, but yeah, fine. Let's take the Heal Hook. It is also pre-upgraded, so that's nice. Another Centurion and Mystic Fight. And again, no way for me to get overkill by stalling. Let's do Sweeping Beam, Quick Slash Ball Lightning, and yeah, Coastline would have been better. I would have avoided taking the one damage I take now, but I think that's fine. I guess I'll trigger the uh, Emotion Chip, so... Oh, never mind, I have Tungsten Rod, right. 
Metsumeso snap, strike, strike, cold snap, steam barrier, and defend. Okay. Hmm. Here I'm taking a little bit more than one damage, all right. And then here, Ritual Dagger is 38. That is enough to kill this one uh, with double damage, okay. And then let's do deep breath. Would give me extra energy. Do I want to save? Um, no, I think I'd rather try to get extra energy uh, in the in the boss fight. So I think I'll just do Lex Sweep, Calculate Gamble, and then just dual cast. Oh, right, that's enough. Okay. I do have to um, kill before I reshuffle, which means I only have a few more turns. Uh, let's do anything I need to hologram. Yeah, I think I'm going to hologram. Wait, I never played the genetic... I thought I played the genetic algorithm. Let's do hologram. Maybe not the genetic algorithm. Let's hologram the ball lightning instead. Okay. Then do that. Flying knee and sucker punch. Okay. And then keep these two. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here I should be able to... Look at that. The shot's actually being enough to kill. Awesome. All right. So... Uh, darkness or program flying knee claw. This would be another way to get uh, overkill, but I think with the um, ritual dagger, I feel much better now. I don't think I'll take reprogram. I already have this, so here might be the first time I I will take the max HP. Okay, and then here I have to rest back to full HP again. All right. Okay, champ does not attack me, and next turn I'm intangible. That's actually really nice, and I can gain extra energy. But I don't think I really need extra energy. Although, yeah, it only draws me one card. I don't think it's worth it. But just wait for the extra energy to show up by itself, or I can. Get it back with the hologram. All right, so I'm intangible here, which is great. Uh, let's do uh, flechettes first, then dual cast. Strike heal hook. Okay. Love to have a well laid plants early here. Okay, luckily I'm not being attacked here. There is a well laid plants here. I think I'll play the ritual dagger. It's going to be very hard to use it. Okay, save these two. Mm -hmm. All right, not being attacked again. Getting somewhat lucky with the attack pattern so far. And I got genetic algorithm and leg sweep now. All right, let's do Glacier, and then just hang on to these two. Okay. All right, 27. Uh, there is a hologram. I mean, I could use it to bring back the, uh, the what do you call it, the deep breath. But is that going to be useful? Um, I think I'll try it. Let's do Choke Hologram. Bring back the deep breath to gain extra energy. Okay. And then I might have to play the Genetic Ogulum to be fully defended, right? I think I'll save the Lex for later. Or I could do Lex now and then, wait, that will bring it down to, I think, 18, right? So Lex will be 11 plus 9, 20th. I think that should be enough. The thing is the Lex doesn't exhaust, whereas uh, 20. No, I'm still good, yeah. Whereas the Genetic Ogulum does exhaust. And just to be safe, no, actually, let me do Flying Knee here. And then save the Genetic Ogulum cool-headed for next turn. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so here let's do free heal hook, which is great. Mass will snap, quick slash. Ball lightning, okay. Blur, defend, cool headed. Mm -hmm. And then a strike, okay. There's a little bit of wasted double damage, but fine. Alright, and then I still have stone calendar trigger. And unfortunately, I'll be intangible next turn for no particularly good reason. So maybe I should wait. No, but then stone calendar will trigger transformation, which is fine. I'm fully defended here. So let's do, let's just deal as much damage as I can. Sucker Punch, Strike, Strike. Oh boy, alright. I think there is a way to try to trigger the Incense Spinner so that I'm intangible in the turn of the big attack, but I am intangible the next turn, the turn after the big attack, which is unfortunate. Might be useful to hologram the Leg Sweep. Yeah, I think I might do that. Put this away. And then do Choke, hologram the Leg Sweep right, uh, where is it? Right here. Okay, let's just hope for the best. Mm -hmm. The weakness should help. I also have a bunch of good potions. I might have considered drinking the cultist potion, actually. I'm not sure why I'm saving that. Shuts us 20 damage. That's a lot. But let me do leg sweep. For Wait, hang on. So with weakness, this will be 25% uh, less, right? So that's going to be 14 times to 28. Yeah, that should be enough. All right, let's do flechettes first then. Okay, then do leg sweep. Uh... 26 even, that's less than what I thought, alright. Can I get by without playing the generic algorithm? Um, hang on, so right now I have 15, this would be another 5, so 20, 26. That would be better, that way I can save the generic algorithm for later. Awesome, alright, that was actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. Really lucky. Alright, not being attacked here, let's do choke, dual cast, then quick slash. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
another 26. Again, can I get by without playing the generic Ogulum? If I do Leap Blur, that's 14 plus 6 is 20, 25, and I have the uh, Tungsten Rod. Let's try this. So Cool Headed Blur Leap 20, 25, right? Yes. Yes, I think that's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Basically, I want to save the Generic Ogulum for an emergency, and this might be it. 40 incoming. Can I bring back the Leg Sweep again? Yes, yes, I think that'll, that's the best idea there. Hologram the Leg Sweep, play that, brings it down to 30, now I have... Uh, 622. Again, I can get by without playing. Here, let me do ball lightning first. So now it's 25. Defend is enough, and I can do flying knee for extra energy next turn. Mm -hmm. And then I just need to survive this turn. Next turn, I'm intangible. Uh, let's do heal hook, masterful stab. Um, should I do... No, let me keep the deep breath for later. Let's do glacier here. Okay, I'm fully defended. Sucker punch and strike. Okay, save these two. Mm -hmm. Next time, intangible. At some point, I have to play the Genetic Ogulum just to get it upgraded because I'm, uh, well, I was going to say worried. Now, I'm hopeful I can kill before having to need to play it. But so far, I'm good. Um, let's do Deep Breath. Or a Cool Headed. And I don't, actually don't think I'll do Deep Breath. Instead, let's keep these two and try to kill with a Choke next turn. Okay, 44. Uh, yeah, let's do Choke. Then Genetic Ogulum. Steam Barrier, Defend, and then the Orb is enough to kill, and I have double damage ready for next turn. Awesome. Didn't have to use any of the potions. Very happy with that. Uh, don't need any of these. We'll take the Max HP instead. And then here, Frozen Core is interesting, but I don't think it's super necessary. Inserter. I don't rely on evoking my Orbs too much, so Inserter might be nice, and I have the extra energy. Tiny Owls will give me Max HP, and I already got Max HP, right? Oh, right, from the super, uh, Singing Bowl. So... The only thing that will possibly translate to points will be this, but this might help me perfect things. I think I'll, I'll take the inserter. Yeah, I, I mean, again, this might give me well-fed and stuffed modifiers, but I think the inserter is more important to perfect things. So every two turns, gained one orb slot. Okay. All right, awaken one at the end, which is great. I just have the well-laid plans as my only power so far, right? And there's a three lead path. Um, if I go to any of these two early elites, because they merge here, and then I have two more elites afterwards. But wow, these are a few question mark rooms. So if I go to the lead on the left, I'll get one, two, three. Uh, three question mark rooms and an early shop. If I go on the right, I'll get two guaranteed shops and only two question mark rooms. So yeah, let's go on the left. And I think overall, I will have ended up with, uh, what, it was like, I think four question mark rooms on Act 1, three on Act 2, and, and now three here. So a total of... Um, of 10, which is very much on the low side. Anyway, so double damage. Let's start off with a choke. Dual cast, massive stab. I probably should have played the flechettes first, but I can do a flying knee here. All right, taking six damage. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Right uh, here, let's do... I mean, deep breath will give me energy again, but there's... Well, fine, let's risk it. I'm hoping to get at least another good defend, defensive card. I got the well of plants, which is probably better than nothing. Uh, ball lightning, heal hook, defense, steam barrier. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, another 20. Uh, there's ritual dagger, which only works if I kill the last one standing with it. So I'm not sure if it's worth trying to get to it. Oof, too bad I can't do glacier, but I can do it next turn. Mm-hmm. Right. Did I um, play a hologram? Not yet. Okay, so I can get the um, the ritual dagger back with the hologram. Flechettes is 15. Um, so I think I'll do Flechettes, the backliner. Then Flying Knee, Zap, Dual... Uh, mm. I am taking damage here. I should have played the Glacier. That was a small mistake on my part. Um, yeah, I'm taking unnecessary damage here. At least I'm intangible in turn. I'm not getting attacked. Great. Um, let's do Blur, Genetic, Ogulum, Lex Sweep. Uh, no, let's do two strikes. One of them being double damage and defend. Okay. At least I'm prepared for any attack I'll get next turn. It'd be funny if no one attacks. No, this one is guaranteed to attack, right? All right, so here I can hologram the ritual dagger, which I might consider doing. Let's do let's do choke, hologram, the ritual dagger. All right, then dagger throw. Get rid of uh, this probably. Yep, and then cold snap. Okay, hang on to these two, because I'm really hoping I can kill next turn. Okay. And if not, Stone Killer will kill for me. 
Oh, flesh shots is only 5 damage. Alright, hang on. Her chill dagger is 22, so that will kill any of those. Let me see. I can kill you with a quick slash. Then do sucker punch and strike, and then kill with ritual dagger. Okay, good. Got the ritual dagger upgrade that way. We've got a flex potion, which I probably don't need. Happy with the potions I have. Already have this. Don't need reflex or noxious fumes or concentrate. Not a huge fan of any of these, so let's take the max HP instead. And then here, I would love to take the Ori. Let's take that up and pick up just and add five cards to your deck. Um, Blade Dance will be great. It's pre-upgraded, so let's keep that in mind. There's a Doom and Gloom, which I probably don't need. Although it would give me an easy way to go to overkill and not have to rely on the Ritual Dagger. Backflip would be great here. Mm, not a fan of the Consumer's great with the um, with the Inserter. And it's pre-upgraded. And then here, not a fan of these either. Maybe the Barrage. I already have a Blur and I don't need the other two. Fine, let's keep... Uh, let's keep taking these, so I'll take the Barrage. Here I'll take Blade Dance. Here, let me think about this for one more second. Uh, here I'll take Backflip, and here I'll take the Consume. Alright, so here, Doom and Gloom or Deflect. I already have a copy of the other two. So, time-wise, I already passed the 45 minute mark. Wow. Alright, so Doom and Gloom would give me the Dark Orb. I'm just a little worried that the uh, Ritual Dagger is not getting as powerful as quickly as I'd like. So, I only have double damage, right? So... It would make my life easier if I just get overkill out of the way. Fine. It's also nice AoE damage, which I don't have much of. And then let's not forget to check out what's else in the shop. Um, Deadly Poison Deflect Main Master Stab. I already have the Master Stab. Direct Entrance is interesting. Not sure if it's super necessary. It will make my opening hand a little worse. Um, I don't think any Deadly Poison. This might be my last shop, right? So, fine. Let's take Deflect. And then I can't afford the Dramatic Entrance. So, I don't know. Do I need to remove anything? Not really, right? Yeah, I think I'm good. Fine, just for the sake of... Actually, I can afford both the Lily Poison Bane. Yeah, just for the sake of getting 250 cards. Which is not easy, but possibly... Maybe possible. Uh, speaking of, this would give me a bunch of gold, but unfortunately... I might have to... Uh, no, I don't want to skip two leads to remove a question mark room. But let's take it. It will also give me 25 points from having lots of extra gold. And then here... Let's see. Good Instincts Enlightenment Dark Shackles is pretty good. Enlightenment again and Panacea, and Panacea and Jack of all trades. Alright, so here I think I'll take the Dark Shackles. Here, I mean, I don't have that many high cost cards. Here I'll take Jack of all trades. Maybe I'll take Panacea here. I do have some high cost cards. Let's take the Enlightenment. I need, I really need more card draw for those high cost cards to be worth it. Okay, so here, 13 incoming. There's nothing I can do about this, right? Let's see if the Sweeping Moon gives me something amazing. No, that's sort of got the opposite there. Let's drink the skill potion. Piercing Whale, at least, together with Steam Barrier. No, yeah, no, that is enough, right? So if I do Piercing Whale and Steam Barrier, that will be just barely enough thanks to the Tungsten Rod. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another Normality, all right. Well, at least I'm getting rid of the Normalities early. Okay. All right. Definitely don't, don't want to hang on to that Normality for later. Okay, so there's the Dark Shackles. That's useful. Let's see what this gives me. Enlightenment. Not very useful. I'll still play it. Then uh, might as well do Leap, Strike, All Lightning, Double Damage, and Sucker Punch. Okay. I honestly am a little worried here because, I mean, I'm intangible next turn, but what will I do once the big attacks start happening? Let's do Deadly Poison, Blade Dance, Zap. Then play all the Shivs and do Cold Snap. Okay. Hang on to these two. Hmm. Alright, 30. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Um, I might not have to do Leg Sweep here, right? Let's do Leg Sweep. That brings it down to 22. I have 17, so a Defend is enough. Yep. And then let's just do Strike. Let's play another Defend and Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. Still have so much damage to get through. 26 incoming. Alright, let's do Cool Headed first. Generic Ogulum would be enough. Can I get by without it, though? Because I would like to keep that Generic Ogulum for later. Deflect, Defend. 9 plus 8 is 17. Not quite enough. Let me see what this gives me. No, no. I think I have to do... Oh, boy. There's nothing I can do, right? I have to do the Generic Ogulum here. Alright. Mm -hmm. I do have Pennant active very soon, but it's not really going to help me here. Ritual dagger. All right, uh, let's do let's do backflip. Consume is actually really nice. Let's do consume. 
So that's 25. I need 40. Wow. Um, let's see. How do I get to 40? I mean, let's, let's see what the deep breath gives me. And then I think I will do Calculate Gamble and, I mean, just hope for the best. Yeah, the best didn't happen here, right? So I have 25, 30... What? what hmm. I really need the, the Sucker Punch, right? That's the only thing that will help me here. What if I do Cool Headed? That'll be another 8. So 25, 32, no, it's still not even close to enough. Um, Let me drink the Swift Potion. There's a Sucker Punch. Is that going to be enough? 30. Wait, um, I have 25. That's still not enough. Let's drink the Essence of Steel as well. Why not? All right, that way I'm actually fully defended. Yeah, okay. And then let's save the um, Cool Headed and um, Backflip for next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 45. Keeps getting better. Um, I think here... Oh, look at how much damage Barrage will do. Yeah, I think I should be fine. Let's do Barrage. Then Leg Sweep. And then Glacier. Is that enough? That, that definitely looks enough. All right. And then keep these two again. Yeah, once I have extra focus, the run becomes much easier. Not not quite easy yet, but easier. Um, here I can do consume again. That'll be 8 times 4, 32. Let's do consume, even considering... Oh, right, I don't have energy to hologram the consume. But I can do... Wait, so I said 32, so backflip is enough. I think I will hologram the consume to play it in... Not next turn, in two turns. Okay. Let's save the consume, and then let's also do cool headed. All right. So this enemy will cap at, um, well, I'm intangible here. I think it'll cap at 60, right? Uh, let's do Cool Headed, then Cold Snap, and then let's do Heal Hook. Okay. Uh, because once I play one more Consume, it'll be 11 times 66, 66. So I won't be having to worry about being attacked ever again. Uh, yeah, let's do Flechettes here. Actually, I'll do Strike, then Flechettes, then Consume. Yeah, yeah, so I'm good. Wow, that consume actually saved me. Without it, I'll be in so much trouble. Okay, and now, did I ever play that ritual dagger? I didn't. Yeah, maybe I'll wait for that. Mm -hmm. um, just for fun, let's do... Actually, I think one ball lightning... No, 55 might be too little. Um, let's do... Okay, I do want to deal some damage. No, let's deal damage a different way. Just for fun, I will play the glacier. Okay. Yeah, I think it'll be boring because I'm already fully defended, so I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Alright, there's Ritual Dagger at the very end. Only does 50 damage with double damage, but still worth it. Alright, we've got Fossilized Helix. That's great. Prevent the first time you lose a each combat. Um, as well as... I never picked up a Beam Cell. I already have the other three, so let's take the Beam Cell. Is that right? Did I never pick up a Beam Cell? I... Yeah, yeah, I was offered one, but I didn't take it. Right here, I'm resting back to full HP. Okay. And then going left. Alright. Okay, I got the Nemesis here. Uh, luckily, I'm not being attacked. Uh, let's do Blur, Barrage, Enlighten... Uh, no, Calculate Gamble, hoping to get something good. Yeah, let's do Doom and Gloom and Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do have a buffer, which is nice. 18 incoming. Oof, I would love to be able to defend against that. And I'm intangible next turn too, right? I think I'll drink the Gamble Sprue, hope to get something defensive out of it. Uh, I got the Dark Shackles. That, that is definitely worth it. Um, yeah, let's deal three damage and then Deadly Poison. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here I'm intangible, which is great. Um, I think I'll save... The, oh, right. I can't save the Genic Ogulum, but fine. Let's do this. All right. That way I'll still save my buffer. Even though, I'll be in, uh, even though I have the Tungsten Rod, I would still have lost my buffer if I was getting attacked. Here I definitely will use the buffer. How big is the... How strong is the Genic Ogulum at this point? 29... This will be 534, uh, 9, yeah, I think if I actually bring back the generic Ogulum, I'll be able to play that and still be fully defended, keep my buffer for next turn. It's also just for fun, do Sucker Punch, and um, that's it, okay. Mm -hmm. Another 18, uh, let's do Leg Sweep, alright, yep, allows me to be fully defended, and then Ball Lightning and Sweeping Beam. Yeah, not having the Welly Plants is actually a little annoying. Would, would have helped me a lot to have it. Another 12. There's a free heal hook. That's good. Then Deflect Dagger Throne. Um, Steam Barrier is enough. 
And I definitely don't want to waste the ritual dagger, but let's do Glacier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, here let's do Cool Headed, Quick Slash, Consume is actually really nice. Alright. I have to make sure I evoke the Dark Orb somehow. Um, sure, let's do Blade Dance. Let's also see what this gives me. Finesse is fine, and then play all these shivs. Alright. Ooh, I got the burn, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. And look at that, the stone counter also helping me out here. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to deal. I don't. I don't think I'll be able to wait for uh, to be able to deal double damage. Although I could do dual cast. Yeah, fine. All right, got back of marbles at the savage combat. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies, as well as a fair in the bottle and um, FTL or acrobatics. Yeah, I only need a few more cards. Let's grab the FTL. Sure, dodge roll might have been nice too. Here again, resting for no reason. Mm -hmm. And then here I got lantern, so I just come with additional energy. Very nice. And then, yeah, as much as I... Ugh, this is annoying. So if I don't go for the shop, I will lose 100 points because I, I have would have lost the Highland amount because of their maladies. If I can somehow perfect the two leads, that'll give me an extra 110 points. But going for the shop might also make... Yeah, it will make the Alex like, Shiny modifier possible. Because right now I only have 21 relics. I'm guaranteed another 2, 3. So that's 23. Yeah, I think point-wise, it's better to go for the shop. And also, I still have three question mark rooms coming up. Hopefully, one of them will give me an elite. Really hoping for that. Uh, I'll do Genetic Ogum, because I don't think this run will take this long. Okay. It is definitely not something I would usually do to skip elites, but the normalities are worth it. And if I didn't take the normalities, I would also lost 25 points from having not enough gold. So I think overall, points-wise, it is worth it. It was worth it to take them. I hope so, at least. Um, let's do Leg Soup here and then Calcut Gamble so I can keep going to play a few more cards like um, Enlightenment, Consume, and Bane. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm losing the buffer here. But I think I should be able to kill... No, no. Uh, let's do Blur, Defend, Defend. Hmm. And then here I should be able to kill uh, with uh, something like FTL and Quick Slash. Good. Alright, uh, backstab is interesting, but it would make my opening hand worse, so I don't think I'll risk it. Instead, let's take the Equilibrium. Okay, and then, yeah, I have to do this rest side again, resting for no reason. And then in this shop, I can buy lots of stuff. I can buy everything, right? Let's take the Omori and get the next curse you obtain, which seems reasonable because there's no way for me to get curses anymore. First of all, let me remove the normality before I forget, Okay. All right, then no more. You need to get the next curse you obtain. Grumman Horn, when, whenever an enemy dies, gain energy and draw one card. And medical card unplayed with status cards cannot be played. Whenever you play, status card exhausted. Um, I can't take any rare cards. Uh, I already have the Glacier. I guess Riddle with Holtz is fine. Let's also do Predator. Yeah, I think I'm good. I have 50 cards already. I don't think I need to buy more cards. Uh, let's buy all the potions, though. Again, I have the gold to spend, right? Might as well. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm good. Okay, so, wait. Uh-oh, this is only 24 relics. I still need a fifth relic, hoping, really hoping I get an elite in the next question mark room. Oh, that would be a shame if I missed that, because then my calculation might not have been worth it. Quick slash, should have played the quick slash first. Then doom and gloom, okay. Hmm. Five incoming, there's generic ogulum. Seems a little silly to do generic ogulum here. Um, I mean... Yeah, I should still do it. No, let's save it. I can bring it back with the hologram. Same with the ritual dagger, actually. Mm -hmm. Tangibly here. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's do Wally Plants. That's good, though. Then, uh, yeah, I think I'll just do Predator and Riddle with Holds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, 16 incoming. Uh, let's do Beam Cell, Ball Lightning. Should I have done Plushettes? It's not that much damage. Let me see what this gives me. Panacea is fine. Then do... Let's do Backflip. Barrage. Not that useful. Let's do Ball Lightning. Yeah, still not that useful. Cool Headed. Okay, now it's slightly more useful. Let's do Deflect, Barrage. Mm -hmm. And then I will play the Defend to make sure I don't lose the buffer. Mm -hmm. Alright. And then here, Enlightenment Choke, Dual Cast, Cold Snap. Um, I worry that I will kill too quickly. Um, because I would like to get either my Genetic Gargulum or the Ritual Dagger back. So I'm kinda wanna hope I kinda wanna wait for the hologram. Yeah, let's just do Ritual Dagger. The Genetic Gargulum is already pretty powerful. Okay. Alright, uh, Aggregate Melter Catalyst, Escape Plan, Aggregate is great. Let's definitely take it. Really hoping for an elite here. Nope. Nope. So I end up with only 24 relics. That's a huge shame. That's just... That's just unfortunate. 
All right, let's just play everything here. Equilibrium. Uh, barrage will deal double damage, but it's not as powerful. Actually, let's do Cold Snap first, then do Barrage. Okay. And then I can play the other cards here. It's a bummer. I was really gambling on getting at least one Elite in the three question mark room. So now I missed 110 points, and I didn't even get a I, I like Shiny. Still, overall, because I got extra gold, I did trade 125 points for 100. Uh, sorry, sorry, 110 points for 125 points. So I still made the right decision. It's just could have been so much better. Uh, all right, let's do Choke here, Dark Shackles. I think should I do Dragon Ogolem? Ritual Dagger's 31. Not quite. Oh, I don't have Wally Plants either, right? Um, yeah, let's do Dragon Ogolem here to play. Okay. All right, and then here let's do Deflect, Sucker Punch, Sweeping Beam, Deadly Poison might kill a little too soon. It's fine. I can play everything here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's do Cool Headed, Leg Sweep, and uh, Heal Hook. All right. I sort of want to get to... I don't want to deal too much damage. I want to get to the Hologram to get the Ritual Dagger back. Mm -hmm. Poison will kill in a few turns, right? Let's do Calculate Gamble here. All right. Um, dagger Throw might be a little bit too much damage. Let's do Quick Slash first. Right, the hologram is still in my draw pile, right? Yeah, and I do have double damage active, so let's just wait. Oh, I am taking some damage here. Oh, never mind. Wait, poison killed right with the orbs. All right, fine. Got a skill potion. I probably don't need the fair in the bottle. I'm doing fine with HP, so let's get rid of that. And then here I already have enough cards. Let's take the max HP, although that also won't be enough. Yeah, I did miss a lot of points by just a little bit, right? Also, just missed the time modifier too. I, I was playing a little slowly. I think I was worrying too much about block and having somewhat of a turtle deck. Uh, let's start with FTL. Not happy about my lack of defensive abilities. I might have to lose my buffer right away. Uh, let's do Blade Dance. Actually, I'm going to drink this right away. Okay. I could do Sneko. Wait, does this this does not count as a debuff, debuff, right? So I can't negate the Ancient Potion effects. Let me see what this gives me. Force Field. I don't have any powers, but it would allow me to defend this turn. And only this turn. Might be worth it. Alright, let's double defend here. Then do Blade Dance. Play the Shivs. All right, let's also do strike to see what I get. Aggregate. I mean, well, it's not really necessary, but might as well play it. Okay. All right, so far so good. Mm -hmm. Could have played aggregate and then drank the snake oil potion. That might have been interesting. See, if I do well at plants, I won't have any defense. I don't have a choice, though. Let me see what the snake oil potion gives me. I also have an energy potion still. Okay, this is actually not bad. I have a free choke. Um... This is 24. Let's do the flechettes. Okay. Then glacier. Deflect is free. 11, 15. I need at least 18. There's a... Def no, and then I also have to somehow kill this one. But I can... Actually, I have dark shackles. Okay, good. So then I think what I'll do is... I'll do dark shackles. Kill this one. And then I think I'll do well plants. Yeah, let's do well plants. Okay. And then anything I need to hologram, not yet, although I could hologram the egg good. I think instead I'll just do ball lightning. Okay. And I can do Bane, sure. All right, let's save these two, although the defend is a little annoying that it's so expensive now. Okay. 21. All right, let's do beam cell sweeping beam. It's a bit of a waste of a double... Oh, there's a consume. I'm thinking of losing the, um, losing the ritual, or the buffer. Because next turn I'll be intangible. Even if I weaken, it'll still be 15, right? There's no way I can defend unless I bring back something great. No, I think instead I'll do Consume. Hologram the Consume. And then play that next turn. Oh, wait, that oh, that would be enough. Hang on, let me drink the Energy Potion so I can do Sucker Punch. Or wait, if I do Consume, it'll be 16 plus 5. That is 21. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Okay. So that way I'll still have the, um, the buffer. Yeah, definitely worth it. Here I'm intangible, so that's great. Uh, just to be safe, let's do Equilibrium Blur. Um, might as well do Deadly Poison, why not? Come. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I am fully defended, good. Uh, there's a normality that's unfortunate. Wait, is that... Didn't I already play Dark Shackles? Did I get two... Oh no, the other Dark Shackles came from uh, the Jack of All Trades, I hope? Yes, yes, good. Wait, was there another Jack of All Trades? No, no, yeah, that, I'm good, I'm good. All right, so I am fully dependent here. Let's save the Dark Shackles for later. Instead, I'll do Cool Headed. Uh, Riddle with Holds is a good amount of damage. Should I do Deep Breath? No, no, let's just do Riddle with Holds and Fly Knee. 
Okay. All right. Um, I am not even sure if I need to hang on to more um, block. But no, just to be safe, let's keep the Dark Shackles and also Doom and Gloom. What if I do Doom and Gloom to try to get Overkill finally? Because I never got that, right? Ritual Dagger is not close to being powerful enough at the moment. Um, yeah, in that case, let's do Enlightenment, Leg Sweep, Barrage, sure. Then Backflip, Doom and Gloom. And um, I don't think I'll do Zap, let's just do a Strike instead. Okay. Right, I only have 16 block now from the Frost Orbs, so that might be a problem. Uh, let's see if I can get another Frost Orb. Eh, there's Genetic Algorithm, although let's save that for later. I think Steam Barrier is enough. Let's do Predator and Strike. Okay. All right, keep these two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'll keep the Genetic Algorithm for Transformation, right? Because I should be able to transform fairly soon. Um, I do have Double Damage Ritual Dagger, but no, let's save that for later. Let's instead do Cold Snap. All right. And then do Blur. I can't do Leg Sweep, right? Yeah, that's a bummer. Um, so instead, let's do Genetic Algorithm now. And then Defend. And yeah, because I have the energy, right? So let's save these two for next turn. Okay. Hmm. 41. I am fully defended, which is great. Let's do a Free Choke, FTL. Late Dance. Play all these shivs. Yeah, having extra um, strength at this point, up to 9 strength, is pretty useful. Another Doom and Gloom? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, if I wait long enough, the Ritual Dagger will be able to deal enough damage, but yeah, it's going to take a while. Tangible here. Again, don't want to do the dual cast because I'm afraid I'll lose my oh-so-important Dark Orbs. Or, uh, Frost Orbs, I mean. Is there... Actually, I could do Cold Snap. Um, well, I'm not sure. Sure. Let's hologram back the Cold Snap. Play that. All right. And then, um, yeah, see, this is 80. If I had vulnerability, which I don't, let's do flying knee instead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I once I get the beam cell, which is not in my discard pile, right? Oh, it is in my discard pile. Never mind. All right. I mean, I already lost the time modifier, right? So might as well wait a little bit longer and try to get overkill. Uh, Thirty-three. I have twenty-four. Uh, let's do flechettes. I might just do ritual or dark shackles here, because actually I might also just be able to kill very quickly. Let me do deep breath. It might give me... Yeah, actually, even if I get normality, I should still be fine. All right. Then do dual cast. Okay. There's no way to fully defend, even if I do leap and deflect, right? So 13 plus 24. No, that is enough. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do heal hook. I'm, I'm worried I might kill by accident. But I don't have any lightning orbs anymore, so that's good. Mm -hmm. And I won't be able to get to double damage anytime soon. Should I do... No, let's do leg sweep. And then risk calculated gamble. All right, fine. Okay, there's Glacier. Zap. No, Zap will kill with the orb, so I can't do it. Let's do backflip. And wait. Oof, a little worried here. Actually, quite worried. The Dark Orb will be able to deal more than 100 damage. I just have to be able to evoke it without taking damage. Uh, or without dealing too much damage. Um, let's do... Let's do Doom and Gloom. Then... Blur and defend. Can't do FTL, right? At least the enemy is uh, healing up every turn, so that's actually very useful. Mm -hmm. Alright, 33. I have enough here. Can I actually wait? Cool headed will get the Dark Orb up front, and then I can hologram that cool headed. Okay. Phew. So I was able to get overkill at the very end. Very nice there. Alright. Perfect all the bosses, which is an achievement. Did lose time, and then definitely lost a lot of elites. 1351. Yeah, I can definitely see a higher score. All right, so I only fought a total of nine elites. I could have fought a total of 11. But again, if I hadn't, I mean, I took the normalities, right? If I didn't take the normalities, I would have lost 25 gold, twenty-five points from money, money. I would have lost, um, and the Highlander. Well, actually, that's, that's it, right? I would have lost 25 points. Wait, so hang on. The calculation is taking the normalities versus not taking it. If I didn't take the normalities, I would have gained... Um, I would have lost 25 points, but gained 110 points, assuming I could have perfected the, elite, the elites, which is not necessarily a big assumption, but it's possible. So that's a net of 85. If I, by taking the normalities, I um, got the gold and then lost the elites. Um, actually, yeah, I probably shouldn't have just not taken the normalities because the only thing I missed, because I wasn't able to get out like shiny, right? The only thing I missed was um, just the gold. Because if I didn't take the normality, I would have had Highlander. Yeah, that, that was probably a mistake. I was really hoping to have some sort of card removal opportunity or to have one of these question mark rooms be an elite. That would have allowed me to get an extra relic, but that didn't happen. 
yeah, that's a shame. I did go for Pomper, which I think was fairly doable. Well fed uh, happened thanks to the Singing Bowl. And then uh, Beyond Perfect and Overkill happened at the very end. But yeah, definitely could imagine at least probably a, an extra 100 points with a better decision making. Wow. Wow. I am 11th right now. That surprises me so much, especially because if I didn't take the Normalis, I would basically had another 100 points. Huh. I wonder if this is just like yesterday, a very difficult run for people. I do have to admit, I really leaned into the orbs, and without them, I might be in a lot of trouble. So maybe that was it. Not a lot of people go for orbs, so maybe they, maybe without all the defensive... I mean, the only way I was able to perfect the Act 2 and Act 3 bosses was by just having a lot of focus with the Frost Orbs. Very interesting. Anyway, let's review the scores from yesterday. Alright, so yesterday was a defect run with the Specialized Hoarder and Binary modifiers. Specialized and Hoarder gave you 15 copies of Beam Cell, which I thought was probably one of the better Specialized versions, but no, a lot of people had trouble. So first of all, Anti did really well with 1649. Congratulations, that's an amazing score. I ended up not far behind with 1529, um, so I ended up perfecting two of the seven leads and two of the three bosses. I had no chance against the Act 2 boss, but did get lucky against the Act 3 boss. I ended up with 16 Collector Bonuses, as I suspect that it all did come down at the end to how many Collector Bonuses you were able to get 16 is not a bad number i also was able to get curses i got an overkill with a dark orb potion and then i also got combo by having aggregate and getting lucky with some card draw uh didn't go for popper and lost some time modifiers which is fine um shadow actually pointed out that um not only was the binary very tough but a lot of people also pointed out the pandora's box gave i assume everybody a really bad set of cards um i didn't notice it at the time i was really just focused on getting collector bonuses i noticed that the pandora's box didn't give me any collector bonuses but uh yeah there were not very useful cards um so i think I, I did get very lucky throughout um yesterday and and very few people were able to keep that luck yeah you can sort of see by how many familiar names there are in the top 100 um i definitely saw panda here yeah 81st place that's pretty much it then you have david and steven they missed the top 100 david actually got 208th place with a loss which is very impressive. So David died on Act 3, ended up uh, upon death, ended up perfecting four leads and two of the three bosses, which means he didn't get to the Act 3 boss, so he perfected all the bosses so far. And up with 12 Collector Moses by that point. Um, and then, yeah, David just uh, had trouble, mentioned that he didn't like any of the cards offered throughout the run. He did have an all-for-one, though, which with all of the beam cells means that combo would have been very easy, and I, I definitely, definitely didn't see an all-for-one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I have to congratulate David for getting a 108th place without actually surviving so yeah congratulations i wouldn't be surprised if steven also died or maybe steven survived but got unlucky with collector bonuses um, a few other people mentioned that they did not do too well um, so pjam uh, mentioned that he went for a popper de deck and that probably is why he died he definitely died yesterday um, alpha mentioned that he went for a reprogram and zero cost deck um, as well as got, took the hyper beam from the boss so didn't end up worrying about focus end up with negative 24 focus at the end um, but yeah alpha survived uh, alpha let me know your username so i can start highlighting you in the in the leaderboards as well then you have malzan who um, had a much better act two than me but ended up dying to the act two boss so i guess overall it wasn't that much better huh um just got unlucky against the act two boss uh, reload a few times but failed um even survived the big attack of the bronze automaton but then wasn't able to have enough hp for the next attack um so yeah just unfortunate and ichu died on act one to the sentry so um yeah lots of deaths yesterday and honestly it seems like today might be similar let me know in the comments uh, if if you also had some bad luck with death otherwise i'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching bye